So I grew up in West Texas in a town called Midland, which is relatively small. Um, it's pretty much known for uh, oil and football and um, tumbleweeds and whatnot. Um, in all honesty, I'm not one of those people that's had a traumatic childhood. My childhood was amazing, like filled with adventure and fun. There are certain things that I grew up with my parents saying that I feel like is on replay in my head. Things like have an attitude of gratitude and if you don't have something nice to say, don't say anything at all. Honestly, I was a very healthy uh, kid all the way really until college. Um, I don't ever remember getting sick. I think I had the stomach bug once. I never got strep, maybe once, no ear infections. Then, all of it kind of came crashing down. So it slowly got worse and worse to where um, I ended up in crutches because I could hardly walk, partially because of the pain, but also because it's like I would tell my legs, hey, it's time to move, and they didn't really want to move. All of my liver enzymes were like through the roof. I mean, normal ASD ALT is around 30-ish, probably somewhere close to that. Um, and mine would be like 300, 350. So it was like, clearly something's very <laughs> wrong, but I can't, I can't seem to figure out what's going on. Um, so, but when the knee thing happened, a little light switch went off and I thought, could it be Lyme disease? There's no way. I don't remember getting bit by a tick. Um, and at that point, I was like a year and a half into my job on crutches with knee braces, having a hard time walking, having a hard time thinking, not myself, withdrawing from family and friends, um, just in a really dark place. And I <laughs> I, so whenever I had those root canals removed, I had a flipper put in because I didn't want to do implants yet because I didn't know how I would respond. So I had teeth that popped out. So it was like, <laughs> you know, uh, this is really bad because I don't have teeth. I'm 27 and I'm in crutches. I can't work. I can't think. I'm losing friends. I, I don't know what's going on. Um, so that was probably like ultimate or one of the ultimate low points. I was taking so many supplements and trying all of these treatments and things that I had previously done, just maybe in a little bit different order and things like that, but it, it, I continued to get worse. I was home with my knee braces, on, laying on the couch with my crutches next to me, just completely like, I don't even want to stand up because it hurts to move anything. I don't want to shake someone's hand because it hurts when they grab my hand. I don't want to talk to anybody because I'm not myself anymore. I don't even know this person. I don't even, rem I don't even remember what it's like to like be social or you know, have a conversation or I just feel like out, weirdly outside myself. And I remember thinking, I, I don't want to be alive if this is what life is like. I can't think, I can't contribute to society. I, I just, I don't want to be in this pain. I don't want to have this fatigue. And I just remember being like, Lord, I, I would really appreciate it. If there's not an answer, could you please just take me and take me quickly? And I was just crying and my dad came and sat next to me and he was like, um, and he never cries and now I'm going to cry. So here we go. But he was like, Heather, we're going to do anything and everything that we can to help you. And your only job is you're not allowed to give up. And he said that at literally the perfect time. So I think the Lord just told him that and he told and he relayed that message to me and it was confirmation um, that I, I can't give up because there's really only one option here and it's to get well. I could breathe for the first time. It was like, I'm where I need to be. It felt kind of liberating because it was like, hey, these are all the things that are going on. And instead of them kind of throwing like, we're gonna try this for a while and see if it works, and this for a while and see if it works, which is what I had been doing. It was, this is what you have and this is exactly what we're gonna do and this is tailored to you. This is your personalized treatment plan and no, you don't have to do IVs for the rest of your life because that's kind of the road I was on. I would start IVs on myself at home. And then slowly but surely, I just kept climbing and getting better and better to where I finally was able to not only like walk without knee braces, 
but to kind of start exercising again. And then a little bit of yoga and stuff turned into a little bit of running. And a little bit of running turned into, you know, Orange Theory Fitness. And the next thing you know, I was so excited because it was like, I haven't been able to do this stuff in forever. And now I am lifting weights and no one can tell I've been sick and my joints aren't swelling and this is fabulous. So um, all of that happened. And when I finally reached a point of not only feeling better, but actually believing, oh, I, I am healthy. There's always hope, always hope for, usually for full recovery, but at least for significant improvement in your life, to get your life back. So having the opportunity to, to be a part of that and to encourage people is huge. And then this road is kind of like the road less traveled, I would say. It's not an easy road to recovery. So it's not like in, in the emergency room, you someone cuts their arm, you sew them up, immediate results. Like, great, I helped you today and that's wonderful. Here, it's you're kind of in it for the long run, you know. So you have to be, it, it's not so much immediate results, but man, when the results come in, it's, it's incredible and exciting and fun to watch people not only get excited but to get their life back and to be so grateful and I don't know there's just there's really nothing like that and I think that's what drives me to be here um, so I am great I sleep great I used to have so much insomnia would stay awake for you know 24 hours 36 hours and not sleep at all um, my energy is great my brain functions great I don't have any depression I don't take any medication um, I run, I exercise, I have friends again, I have an incredible family still, and I don't live with my parents, and I did get teeth, for those of you out there who are wondering, I did get some implants in, so yeah. <laughs>